You are now tuned into the Underappreciated Podcast. It's your boy, God Mintz. You know why I'm here. I'm here to give people credit when credit is due. All the people behind the scenes and the people in front of the scenes. But this time, we're going behind the scenes. We're going with one of the most profound artists, street artists, shit, clothing designer, shit. I can't even say he behind a lot of shit. So, you know what I'm saying? But without further ado, let me introduce you to my boy, D Cozy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, P? Sound good. Yeah, cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good vibes. See, I'm yeah. wearing all your shit. Yeah, he got it on. It's some exclusive motherfuckers right there. See, niggas, see, see, niggas ain't having it. Uh, yeah, you feel me? So let's let's take it back. This is what I want to do. I want to take it back to the beginning of your whole career. Not even your career. Let's go back to what made you even get started with drawing and and doing anything. Let's not even go paint because. Let's just go down to doodling and shit. I want to go way back. You feel me? Like, yeah. I want to know about some shit that that I don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, like what started me drawing, just like doodling around the house. Like I used to live with my mom and my grandma, so I used to just draw on everything, like newspapers, anything that I seen, just because I had the habit. So when they seen, they caught one of my drawings one day, and they couldn't believe I drew. They like, you drew this? I'm like, yeah. They like, nah, you got to draw something else. They put a picture in front of me. I knocked it out, and they was just like amazed, and they was like. Well, we gotta take him serious. I guess at that point, I didn't know. I was still young, so as I got older, I realized that they kept me on it, and I just stuck to drawing and winning art projects and everything in school and shit. So it was for real. So you were just mimicking. You were just mimicking. You were you weren't tracing it. You were just doing it off eye. Just doing it off eye. eye Even if it wasn't as intricate as it is now, it's just the idea of like it'll be a stick figure, but it'll have like. Nike's on, like you know, like I had the idea mm-hmm. together, even if it wasn't the best drawing. Like it's just like my imagination was always a hundred, like out of this world. That's crazy as hell. See, most people don't have that type of gift. That's a, it's a different gift, like for somebody to be able to just do things like that, just out of their mind. You feel yeah. Me? Mm-hmm. And then you you used to like I used to try to draw my my whole drawing <laughs> would be like a Dragon Ball Z character. Yeah. And it'd just be weak on my drawings <laughs> when they, <laughs> just, I thought they was trim, but they was weak as hell. Yeah, I thought they was trim, but ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Back then they was something. You get away with it. Oh, he draws so cute. Right. And you get older, they're like, nah, it ain't nothing, bro. Nah, but then I was trapping colorings though. I used yeah. to color inside the lines and oh. put them in a little cellophane thing and then trap those. I used yeah. to trap those for like forty dollars a piece. And they yeah. used to fuck with me because I had a little ponytail and they were so, just like they thought I was like a little girl and shit, little cat. Uh, yeah, I, I was a pretty, pretty little light skinned kid. <laughs> In colors, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah but, pretty. Like, but like from from going from that, right? From how do you even how do you even start doing things on like? Let's not even say professional level. So it's basically safe to say that it was in your blood. Basically, this is just what you yeah, call. Actually, was. see, I missed out. My father was actually an artist. Like my my dad, you know, like a drawing, painter. Yeah, like drawing, painting, shit. Like he was really raw as hell at that shit. Like I didn't know until I got older. They like your dad can really get down. Like I'm like for real. And he was showing me the pictures and shit. One day I sat down and had a session with him. And he was just drawing different shit. I'm like damn. That's damn. Where I got so now you like that's where it came from. Yeah, and he had a best friend named Wack. Like from Chicago, he's like a big artist. He does a lot of like Afro black paintings and mm-hmm. shit. Like I don't know, like you might see him in like older older people houses. Like it'll be a picture of like a black woman and a man, and they holding the world like mm-hmm. like very like in strong pictures yeah, like, like that. African. Yeah, uh, that's his art. Like, you can see on some of it. I've seen white. it like jazz type of stuff. Yeah, they I might be in type of exactly. Vibes. Yeah, they might be in a barber shop and shit like that. But that's him. I was like one of my dad's close friends, so they used to get down too back in the day. So. It came from somewhere for sure. So you was born and raised in Chicago. Yep. What part South of Chicago? Side. South Side. Yes, sir. It's rough out there. Too crazy, man. That's what I heard. So how 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 are you able to not be in the streets and then still be doing doing this? Or mm. you was doing both? I was kind of doing both, but like during my high school, like I kind of like I had my head on kind of early, like mm-hmm. like I knew what was going on around me. Like I seen death, and then I seen jail. I seen a lot of people that like early, like 15, 14, like all of that happened. And so oh, so you like, like man, I ain't, I'm like I, ain't I know good. which way I want to go. I'm like I, I need to be making money, like. My OG struggling, like going through stuff. I'm like, I gotta make some bread. I can't. I'm the only guy in the, in the family that can make it happen. So, I can't crash out in the streets right now. I gotta do something. Like, so I don't know. It just kind of played hand in hand. And then like my art was always accepted by everybody. Like it got me in any room to mm-hmm. talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I was doing tattoos and stuff. And like, like that kind of kept me like. Ain't not, that two different types of worlds though? Yeah. Because <laughs> painting, painting, and drawing, and then a tattoo on skin. 
It's totally different. Yeah, it's totally that's a whole different. nother art. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a whole nother art. Like, what's and the I, difference though? I always wondered that though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not for sure. Nah, because I seen people doing it like on pig skin. Pig skin. Yeah. See, in high school, I used to just draw people's skin with pen. Like, I used to just go to the lunchroom and charge people five, ten dollars or whatever. Just like just draw a little shit on them and. They give me, I make my lunch money. I have money to go home. They say you're yeah. shoving pen. It's, it's, it's no shoving ball paint, ballpoint nah, pen. For real, like just giving <laughs> fake tattoos in classes. So I already had the idea I wanted to do it. And everybody in school knew me for drawing. So they're like, oh, you should do tattoos. As soon as I graduated, I grabbed some pig skin. I fucked with it a little bit, but it was cool. Like it, didn't, it wasn't giving off the effect I wanted. So my homie let him tap, let me tap him. He was like, come on, you can tap my arm. And Man, I just tapped him. It came, out, it came out too crazy. It was hard. He was like, for real, you gotta go crazy now. I posted it on Facebook. I remember like yesterday, my Facebook lights just was like hitting me up. Can I get a tattoo? Can I get a tattoo? Damn. And from there it was like okay. a rap. first shit, you was already a professional tattoo. Cause everybody artist. knew me like in Chicago for like drawing and stuff, like my Instagram had it, following Facebook, just So you was doing t shirts and shit too, like shirt kings and like how do you how shirt Yeah, kings like in high school, like shit. yeah, yeah, for sure. And homecomings, everything. I was doing all the art for everybody. My high school, like senior uh, hoodie we did, we like they put my artwork on it. So everybody who That's graduated hard, in my class had a, a hoodie with my shit on it. That's crazy. So your whole graduating class had all your shit on it? Yeah, so it's like... Oh, not, so you've been having everybody wearing your shit. Yeah, like, it really been like, just blessings, like, for real. Like, in high school, like, my art always was trendy to everybody. When it came to, like, doing parties, I'm like, can you make me a shirt? I'll paint a shirt. Like, you know, remember my scheme back yeah. in the day? Like, with shit the like, paint splatter? Exactly. Like, way before all this new stuff, how they putting paint on Like, I've been doing that, like, back in yeah. the day. Yeah, nah, you said my scheme. See, yeah. see, y'all gotta know something at home, kids. Y'all know nothing about the my scheme drip. The scheme used to have that splatter on it. Jewels used to wear all that shit. What? I used to go crazy with them with 5 the, XTs. What, with the skulls? What? Stop it. Yeah, that was a whole, that was a whole Yeah, move. they don't know. Yeah, for sure. Damn, see, they learning some see, shit. See, I was on that way. wave in high school, so I was doing, like, Paint like Twix, the Twix characters, like Bugs mm. Bunny and stuff on shirts and shit. And that was like Iceberg. Yeah, yeah. Remind me of Iceberg. No cap, yeah. yeah for Tweety sure. Bird and a Sylvester exactly. Sylvester Cat, Sylvester Cat. I was Cat giving off that whole way in school. They was eating it up. I always had some money in my pocket in school from that, though. Yeah, nah. Hey, you you smart man, bro. I always knew. I knew that when I first met you, I knew that. Because I don't even remember how I met you the first time I met you. It's random. How I met you. Damn. That's crazy. Damn, that is crazy. I swear I don't even know. It, it, I know it wasn't, it wasn't through CB. I know it wasn't. Nah. It was something solely separate. Nah, we just linked on some faster shit. Like, you just, I think, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you I think it was some drip just, shit. Yeah, you was just like, man, I fuck with this shit. I'm like, oh, I bet. But I ain't and know then, who you was connected to. Nah, know yeah. You know, you know, we just locked in. I'm just like, say less. We just on some vibe and shit. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, you was just You was just telling me. I seen that you had the drip on your page. I'm like, oh, yeah, that nigga had a drip for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He just put me on some shit. Like, oh damn. I think you seen something on my page and you comment on this. I'm like, yo. But it was some shit. I yeah, know some yeah, shit I that's only a certain that only yeah, niggas oh, don't yeah. know. No cap. There wouldn't have been them. a lot of niggas that know about that shit. Right. That was one of them. Yeah, so so from that, so so you go from trapping clothes in high school to like fast forward in time, like what, how did you get so tattoos got you out here? You started you, tattoos I brought you to LA? I really was like, I graduated high school, I was doing tattoos. I was doing tattoos like for like everybody like on normal, like like back, you know what I'm saying? Like where Sosa and them from, like I was doing all them people, like on King Drive, 64th, all that. Sosa meaning Chief Keef, if yeah. y'all don't know who. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, you gotta make so, sure you make it clear for right, them. Right, yeah, Chief Keef, so. Nigga, uh, he came out here, he had to come for like rehab or something. And, while he was out here, he hit me up like, yo, I want to get some ink. Uh, I'm like, yeah, for real? I'm still in Chicago. He, right. he DM me like, yeah, I need some ink. I'm about to fly you out. I'm like, think he capping. I'm like, right, he capping. He ain't finna send me, fly me out. But he texts me like the next day like, yo, this so Ooh, send me your info. He booked my shit. We and I end up coming to LA. And ever since then, I ain't looked back. Like, really just tatting him and the gang. Like, we just out here. And, then you just end up staying out here after you came the first time? Yeah, just really just stay and just like, I went back a couple of times just like to touch base and you know see the family and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, just to figure it out. I was still getting my feet wet out here. Like, I ain't really just plant myself in LA yet. I was just kind of like. Sosa was already lit? He was lit by then? He was overly lit. That's like when he first came out. Like, oh, when he came out, like, Sosa ain't going crazy. Like, around that time, like, he was like the ultimate superstar at the time. So it was like, 
I was in the mix with him and like everything with him, it was benefiting for me at the same time. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, so I just made my way, just kept my head on and did the right shit. And it kept me in LA. Like, I was just, like, before that, actually, like, Rihanna had seen my artwork and stuff and was posting, like, my, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that was big. I remember she posted me. That. I had, like, I got my first, like, 20,000 followers from her. Like, crazy. Like, as soon as she tagged me, like, I couldn't use my phone for a day. Like, I never seen instant, like, oh, the algorithm like, fucked up now. Like, like, they not getting, nobody get no shine. No, yeah, no, no algor just, algorithm ain't like that. If you shot it out, nobody going to be, they ain't going to know. She shouted me out, bro. My page went, like, boom, 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 boom. Couldn't use it. I'm like, oh shit. I got some over the car. I'm like, oh, I just got a shout out to Rihanna. Oh, it's up. Yeah, now nah, you like, I'm And ever now, since then, so. that's when Sosa, you know what I'm saying? And then start following that, you know what I'm saying, that lane. I stayed in LA and then it just started ear by ear. I'm like, oh, Decoach, oh, Decoach, oh, that's him. So, and that's before that, that was just you doing that. You wasn't uh, doing, you was painting the clothes or you was just wearing your own shit? I was just wearing my own shit. I do custom pieces for myself for like, for so different artists. So they didn't artists. even know, you weren't even trapping uh, gear yet. You nah, know? not really, because I didn't even really understand it at that time. I really was just doing one-on-one -on -one pieces for people like, like for different artists. I might paint one for, uh, I'm trying to see, right, let's say so for Chief Keef or something and then have him wear it or like whoever I was close to at the time, like mm -hmm. giving it to them. But I never was really like, oh, I need to start a brand until later on. And then it finally came about, but I feel like it just be with timing though. But your pieces be mad rare though. A lot of people they don't understand how rare their pieces be because they don't even get to get them shirts. Once you don't, once you make them one time, you ain't never gonna make it it's again. It's over with. Like I do little flash sales. I might keep them up twenty four hours, and then it's over with. It's well, cooler I, like that though. Yeah. Because people get it's to exclusive. collect them. Yeah. It's like it's like if you if you catch it, you should collect this because. You ain't never gonna see it again. If you right. don't get it, it's gonna be too late. That's my whole point when I do it. Like I just want people to feel like they got something like oh or if they feel like they waited for something and mm -hmm. they got it, it was a reason, like, oh you right. came it's like up. Like me and nobody else can't get it. Like you did your job by waiting and getting for right. it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So shit, from that on, so then you move on from that, right? What how how do you get from let's say doing the art, right? You went from the art at the crib in Chicago, then you started doing tattoos, then the tattoos got you out here, then you started doing other artwork, then Rihanna posts your artwork. How do you start getting from that to like superstar status? Like that's what everybody wanna know. <laughs> for real. Man, for real. I don't even think about it like that. I still be on some humble like just chilling. Like I still feel like I'm the same guy from Chicago just relaxing like But you should be on Jumbotron constantly. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like real rap. Like nah, real for real. Honestly, I'm just blessed though. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Like it's just being consistent and just pumping out the same, you know what I'm saying? Like stuff that I know that they like, uh, you know? Mm -hmm. and just being consistent with it. Like I never really would have thought this shit would have went this far or like the people that's rocking with my stuff like really would be rocking with it the way they do. But I mean, not only have you done like shit, just Rihanna posting your shit, but you got like, you painted see part of Chris Brown house like like yeah you know, it's crazy that y'all even do collabs together and stuff like that mm -hmm. knowing that he's a superstar and shit and then nah, that's just sure. not crazy yeah that's my boy like he been rocking since day one solid as could be like like he hit me up on Instagram like years ago like he followed me and everything before like we was like close or whatever like I just seen he was paid attention to liking the art and everything mm -hmm. I'm like okay he an artist he paint ooh we finally just like hit each other like and then like oh man i ain't know where you know what i'm saying like yeah. he, let's lock in but that's he, a random dm in. that's a heavy dm when you look at that you be like yeah you know because we was following each other and like liking each other's stuff so it was like we know of each other I was like bro i ain't no weirdo i'm gonna be in la soon like mm -hmm. let's lock in he was open arms and instantly let me in and we just end up being close to being good real friends like and we just be like man painting whenever just chilling even we might just be chilling at the house watching tv hey you feel like pain come on let's paint and they got so many wall spaces in his house. Then you so you like, it's the biggest canvas. You like, right. I can it's go like, off of anywhere. Yeah, here. you just let it off real quick. We might just blast some music. Just be painting together. Six o'clock in the morning, just painting. So with music, so it's just like music. It's the same thing. You think? Do you think he um, expresses himself the same he does art-wise with music? Is it is it similar? Yeah, for sure. No, definitely. Because like he might be listening. Uh, he listens to a lot of his own music, you know? Mm -hmm. you know so. If he vibing out, he listens to his own music and it still, it make him just as happy as he, you know what I'm saying, I see when he record. Yeah, but like, he really fuck with art for real, like, he a real artist, I, I vouch for him on that, so. That's why I'm like, we, might, we thinking about doing some galleries together and stuff too, so. Yeah, see, y'all hear some yeah. exclusive bad shit in here, you only gonna hear this yeah, on my sure. shit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying, he okay. gave you some, yeah, 
Chris Brown B Cozy Gallery. I hope y'all ready for that. It's a different type. Oh, y'all ready? That's a different type of vibe right there. Yeah, that's a different type of vibe. Big, big art. You know what I'm okay. saying? Because I seen when I was leaving, uh, I went to the show on Saturday. Yeah, that was Saturday, right? No, was that yesterday? Day before yesterday. Day before yesterday, yeah, I went. Saturday, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, I went to Vegas and I seen that. Uh, I seen the tour bus. That was crazy. Yeah. That joint like, crazy. Yeah. I ain't get to hit that motherfucker with him though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. A couple of Who hit uh, that with him? It was him, James Hunt, and I think I think Defer hit it with him. I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna tag it up. I'm gonna get a little spot on there. We was just talking about that too. So Yeah, but that yeah. joint hard, like you, yeah, that, you see you a city to city riding, that's just like emotion, like Yeah, it's a piece piece crazy. Like, yeah. Crazy piece. That that uh Galactus. Mm-hmm. That's what you should hit up. You should hit up right where that Galactus yeah, is at. Yeah, make him right. look, make him look more evil the yeah. way he already look. Cause yeah. you know what I'm saying he got Captain Marvel on there. It's crazy how he moving around like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So when it comes like when it comes to that, like so that's the R and B side of you. You know what I'm saying. But people don't know that you shit. You real heavy in the rap side. Like before anybody, not even just Sosa. You could you could give him a little bit more. Of the other guys you done some yeah. profound shit for. Yeah, like. Like my real close friend, my brothers, uh, Gunna and Thug, like mm-hmm. I've been around them for years, for like seven years or more, like just being around, just really vibing before I was just doing some art stuff, like before Gunna was big, mm-hmm. we was locked in, like I listened to his music, I'm like, you hard, bro, I want to have involvement, whatever you're doing, like, you know what I'm saying, I was already working with Brown and stuff, so they knew my artwork, I did Dirk first mixtape cover, so people knew of me, so. Yeah, we got to show that. He yeah. did Dirk first mixtape cover. Yeah, the Shine to the Streets, yeah, we definitely that. did yeah, that cover. That. It's classic. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, I've been rocking with your work too. So I'm like, man, say less. When your next project comes, I want to do the artwork. Like, I ain't even want to charge him. Like, just on me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to do it for you. Just to do it on He GK played a song one. called Phase, and it was like, out of here. I'm like, oh, nah, come on. I got you. I drew the first one. To, um... Drip season two, yep. Drip season two, yeah. The first one, yep. That yeah, I did. That's crazy. And that joint one, that's what really like started getting him his motion. And then we went drip season three. Oh, we got the cover right here too. Yeah. Yeah. This joint. Yeah, that one crazy. DS three, and this was really like the one. So you did one. that. You had to draw it first, and then you uh, you hand drew it first. Actually, you, um, I actually it. drew it digitally on my iPad. So it's kind of like paper and pencil, but it gave me all the tools I want to use, like airbrush or whatever, you know? So mm-hmm. I kind of used the airbrush tool to just knock out this whole cover for him. So Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, hard. yeah. And this one of my favorite, you know what I'm saying, pieces I did, like, far as for artists. Yeah, man, they got to free the slimes, man. Yeah, free my boy. Free gunner, free one, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's crazy. That you piece know I mean? is a solid piece. Yeah. Like the colors, I love that like, you be using these greens and stuff like that. It's crazy how them all, the off whites they came out with them green. Right. They ones. know where the you slime came from, man. That color. That's the color you've been using a that's lot. That's what I'm saying. I tried to brand the whole slime like mm-hmm. them. That's family to me. So it's like I'm rocking. I'm rocking the whole. You know what I'm saying? My art. I'm putting the slime in it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Anywhere I can, like just represent, like just adding it in yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, it's always part of my. You know what I'm saying? Like my little feng shui, spiders, whatever. Like. Okay. Yeah, so you got Thug, you got you got Gunna, you yeah. got uh you got Dirt. Yeah, like I did Thug's tour merch too for his tour with um with J. Cole. It was him, J. Cole, and Jaden Smith. I forgot the K O D tour, actually. Yeah, you did that merch? Yeah, I did the merch for that. So I didn't even know that. That was yeah, that was like one of my first big like merch things with like with, tour merch yeah, like yeah, for sure with Thug. That's yeah. I know you was banking on that. Yeah, for sure. That was the bank. <laughs> yeah, Doug, Doug, Doug put me Doug right in there. That's, that's one uh, thing about that guy. He going to make sure everybody around him got some money in their pocket. That's just his thing? Yeah, for sure. I heard that before, too. Yeah, that's how that's how they rock. Yeah, I fuck with Young Thug, man. He's solid, super solid. He a Leo, too. You know, I'm, you know, I'm a Leo. Yeah. That's probably why we friends. <laughs> nah, I'm <laughs> joking. Nah, but then we got a... Uh, so you did... You did that shit. That's that's like I listen to why I sell music heavy, man. And then um, and then um, I heard you do some jewelry pieces too. Like I heard you design jewelry. Like mm-hmm. not many artists like you. You do so many different levels of shit. Yeah. You feel me? They'll <laughs> think that they'll think they'll see painting like a painting in, in your house. Like and I appreciate you inviting me to your house, man. Because no, it's like you know it's a private. You know what I'm saying niggas don't like niggas in their house. Nah, no, for real, I really don't. You feel me? So yeah. to come to your crib and get this exclusive, this shit hard as hell. We're gonna show y'all some more stuff too in a little bit, but um, I just like how everything is designed, like how you design certain things, and people don't know that you could go from paint, from drawing, from doodling to paint to digital to motherfucking 
art in your house and then jewelry? Like, how do you how do you even make jewelry? <laughs> All right, well, it really just comes from paper. Like, everything revolves around art at the end of the day. Like, mm -hmm. from the shoe design to the pens you're wearing, like, I have to draw all the, like, I have to draw all that from scratch on paper, like just to get the idea from that shirt, mm -hmm. like, everything. So it's like it really started from that, and then they do CADs or whatever for the um, the molding. But I I really just send them the artwork, like with Gunner's. I did Gunner's piece, the um, the uh, with the snake. Yeah, the name piece. Yeah, with the with the. Oh, so his on. original, his OG piece. Yeah, yeah the yeah, Gunner one on one. Exactly. Yeah, did uh, that yeah. one. With the snakes coming around that link, yeah. So you developed that link. Yeah, not actually. Elliot developed that link. Mm -hmm. I just designed the the main piece. Elliot came up with the snake design. Oh, with the saying? snake with link. The, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah, that was crazy. That's all that came out crazy. Like just both of us together. Yeah, that nigga Elliot, man. It's out of here, man. I know he be Shout one Elliot, yeah, my boy. Yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> Aviani. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He, for he the crazy. Nigga, so for the folks that don't know who Elliot is, you know. What I'm yeah. Saying? <laughs> yeah. Aviani drip. Nah, yeah. straight up. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause to do that design, that that one, that one of chain is crazy. Man, that one, did uh, Pooh Shiesties, yeah, the blue chain. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, I did a couple people. I did a couple NFL players. I don't know them like off the top, but it's a couple. I did with with this um jeweler Zoe Frost. Mm -hmm. I did a couple pieces with him. But yeah, I just be I'm I'm thinking about just going into that lane. Low key, myself. you should just start being the yeah. jeweler. Yeah. That's why yeah, I because I don't think nobody's gonna be able to win. If you start doing all pieces like, yeah, like neck right. pieces, yeah, that <laughs> if you start making jewelry, bro, I ain't gonna lie. It's a wrap. I don't even like jewelry like that. I'm gonna need a chain. Straight up. Yeah, that's stupid. Like you gotta do because I see in the future, bro. I see that you are gonna get like a Rolex. It'll be harder for you. You see, Supreme the doors is opening, bro. Yeah. Supreme did they doing a Rolex, bro? Swear. Yeah, Supreme have an exclusive Rolex coming out. Oh, I ain't so even that see that. Means that's that, crazy. That, Streetwear could come to that. You feel me? You could do it a Rolex in your life. You could do a Rolex, design one. Shit would be the you know, next level. You know that. You never know. That might come out. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it definitely might come out because the way things is leveling enough for you right now is, you know what I'm saying? It's a straight yeah. up blessing. Straight up. What, what, what do you got coming up? Like, what kind of stuff? I know you just did, Um, I, I remember I told you I went to the show. Mm -hmm. I said, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I did some tour yeah. merch too. Like, uh, yeah, like the. Um, I wish I had some. What for, little baby? Yeah, for uh, CB and little baby. I mean, I could show some of it. Like, oh yeah, that's hard. The one on one. Yeah, one of them ones. Yeah, that's crazy. That shirt is fire as hell. Yeah, it's like one of my and favorite. And like mad. The details in it is crazy. Yeah. Did these shorts? Like, these like some shorts. Oh, so it's like OSB. Yeah, the OHB joints. Yeah, that's fine. Simple, but so far. Yeah, it's like little shit. Easy to, easy to put on, like ready to wear gear. Exactly, like you can put it right on with this. Like those colors go right with this. Yeah, I like that one. And then the cozy touch. You feel See, me? Yeah. Exactly. Put that you. Exactly. Put that right on. It's like little stuff, man. There's a couple of different ones here, man. Yeah, that other color. What's that uh, dark one? The, yeah, those are different. Yeah. Damn, I need even this, see these. This one of the ones. Hey, another design I did. Let me see that. Oh yeah, that's a full PF type vibe. Yeah, you know, I had some more stuff, but man, you know what I'm saying? Out the way, I'll show it later. Bro. Yeah, nah, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. hell yeah, they ain't like it. That's yeah, we got joggers. We did the whole joggers. We did the button ups with the embroidery. We we went all out for that. So they was tweaking, so it been. It, it, it was like real fresh gear. It's not even like tour merch. It's like well, it's tour merch, but it's like oh, I could put this on yeah, every just day, every day. Yeah. But that that was the last date. Was that the last date? Yeah, that was the last so date in Vegas. Vegas. So did it do good? How did how did it do? Yeah, Vegas was sold out. And all of the, the the tour merch did good. Everything went good. Yeah, it went great. I seen. I checked the line every time I was in East City. I'm like, the line long. guy, right, we doing good. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we booming now. Yeah, and I'm seeing all the people in the crowd wearing the clothes. I'm like, we fire. It's hard when the homies get to make the shit though. That's cool. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's just better that way instead of just having some random dude design your yeah. stuff. You know, people go on tour and then they don't even know who's making their merch. No, for sure. That's you crazy. got a guy sitting right here with you, man. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard. Yeah. So, so out of that, like you know, working with them, doing things and stuff like that. I, I heard that you got into the um, the NFT space too. Um, from coming into the NFT space, how how is it like? Do you feel like it's similar to just doing stuff? Because I know you do stuff on your iPad too. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is yeah. it similar to doing it by hand or? Yeah, no, it's the same, really. It's just like, just digital. Like, I just got to lock in on the pad. Like, and most of my art I do. Or you just was just like, you like, this is the same thing? Kind of, it was like, it's the same thing. It's just like the programs, like different programs. Like, I use Procreate mm -hmm. and Adobe, like those different apps. Like, so it's just like, once you get the app, you learn it. And once you learn it, you just go it, and then you just fly through it. So that's what I be using. I do all my artwork for my NFTs on there. So whatever I feel like is just a hit. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll put a collection together and we'll yeah, drop it. Hell yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, like, just to name a few of the people, um, like, we named a couple guys that would, but, like, what, what type of guys you feel like they just be wearing your clothes in the wild, like, certain rappers and certain artists that you was like, hold on, they just wearing my shit, like, in the wild, and I don't even know that they got my shit. Uh, like, like, I didn't like, give it to them. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, some people that surprised me. Yeah, like, the clothes that you, that I ain't gonna you lie. didn't even give it to them. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't give out no clothes to nobody. Like, I don't need, not even, like, on those... Not trying mm -hmm. to give it out, but... On the like, homies. You don't even give it out on the homies. Nah, <laughs> nah cause he don't give me shit. <laughs> he make me pay. Nah, for real. The homies either, like... It's not even like that. Like, it just be like... You would go buy somewhere, somebody else stuff. But yeah. like, so why not buy something? If somebody come in, I know you my homie, and you done bought some stuff for me, mm -hmm. and like you show love, then I just like, all right, bet. Come on, all right. I'll give you what you want. Right. But like, just need everybody. Oh, I need that. I need. But just sometimes it then. Yeah, like, like show, show me love one time, at least one time. I'm gonna be like, oh damn, he showed love. Like, all right, bro, here you go. All right. At least you showed the effort. But I'll be doing that. But I don't, I don't give out none of my clothes. I see a lot of people like if they wearing it, it's authentic. Like the only people I probably give it to is like CB, like Thug, like because I'm around them every mm -hmm. day. Like I don't go out my way to just give out. Like that's what I mean. I don't go out my way to just be like oh, I need to get this person a batch of clothes. Like right. I don't do that. But. If you see somebody with it, they bought it like to celebrities, like they yeah, really buying. I seen it. people in that shit, man. I like, seen Uzi Vert in that shit. You know, I seen, for sure. I seen everybody wearing your shit. You know, like, they putting it on for sure, and then they be surprising me. I'm like, damn, like, cause it make me feel like, all right, it's really doing good. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't right. like I'm forcing nobody to wear. Like anybody wear free clothes, but you, you ever surprise buy it. anybody when they, if it's somebody wearing your shit in the wild, and you be like, yeah, that's me. I'm D Cozy. Um, yeah, yeah, everybody be like, nah. Yeah, yeah. No, that happen all the time. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's funny. Yeah, it'd be funny. It'd be tripping me out because I'd be humble, like, and I don't be thinking people know me. Like, yeah. with, obviously, you know what I'm saying? They know something. They might know the artwork and I know the face. They might know the face and not the artwork. Mm -hmm. But it's either one of the two, and it always trip me out. Bro. I'd be tripping. When you look at them, they be like, nah. They be like, nah, no, it ain't. Yeah. For real, for real. That's me. Yeah, that's me. I did that. That's how it was on the tour. They're like, oh, you the one? Oh, yeah. Whole time, y'all. Nah, cause they, 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 everybody wanted around, everybody buying it. You should have exactly. signed them. You should have just signed them. No, I signed a couple people stuff in the um in you the did? crowd. Yeah, a couple fans and they see me walking around. They like, bro, I bought your merch, bro. Can you sign it for me real quick? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be rare. That's an expensive ass uh, signature. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's like you signing a piece of art. Not nah, for sure. That's very rare. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about how many Basquiat you like. You like the street Basquiat right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You the street that's, level of Basquiat. That's a crazy compliment. Thank you. Know you what I'm saying? Thank for you sure. Yeah, that's what I'm pushing for to just go crazy. Just like I think you gotta start show. getting. I, I think you gotta start like I, I I want you to go like just start doing a lot of pieces outside. You need to start getting up like big big pieces. Like you know what I'm saying. You know who be doing that stuff and uh, that came up out of nowhere is Alec Monopoly. I ran into him in um in Mykonos. He was randomly in Mykonos. He did a whole store. They had like a whole yeah. store. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. his style is just like definitely not original. You get what I'm saying? You be coming up with some original ass shit. All your shit be yeah. original. He done finessed the whole game the way that he did it. You know what I'm saying? No shade on him, but it was just like that's a hustle. That's yeah. a hustle. If yeah, I he's seen doing it right. He's doing the right way. Mm -hmm. But I know that's the network getting, though yeah. too. That relationship shit. No, that's all it is. Because I'm like, really I'm not making like, notes and I'm seeing it in like Louis Vuitton type, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Like his designs. Like I was just in London and I went to St. Tropez because it was just, you know, just a couple hours. Mm -hmm. like, I'm like, I'm going to get on the plane and go there. But I went there, I went to a couple art, you know what I'm saying, art galleries and they was liking my study. Like, yeah, come over here. So I'm definitely pushing to get in some galleries soon. Well, what is happening soon, so. And outside, though, I'm telling you, bro, I feel like, because you yeah. know how you got them galactic, oh, yeah. whatever was those, those collected things? What are those ga galactic ones? It's like, Ooh. it's a little like a, it look like a video game piece, and they be all around the world, different places. 
You know what I'm talking about? It's like a, um, I don't know what it's called. It's like a Galactus piece. It's like a, look like a video game. Remember the Galactica game? It's like a digital. Like a little arcade? Yeah, it's like, a digital arcade piece. I yeah, don't know it the look name. like the little. Like, yeah, it'd be like a little thing. Yeah. And it'd be all around the world. Oh, yeah, I've seen them in London. It looks like a little alien. Yeah, you got to collect them. Oh. I it's know. in different places, but if you catch it and you get a picture of it, you never seen him make it, if that makes sense. You mm -hmm. never see him put it up anywhere. Oh, that's fine. That's what's rare about that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you running around and doing paintings, or like, do you believe, what's the guy that did them, the paintings that nobody ever seen? The person holding the balloon? Who that? Banksy? Yeah. Do you believe that, like, that's what I'm going to ask you too. Do you believe there's more than one person? Do you believe Banksy is not one person? Do you believe Banksy is an entity? Like a group? Or you think it's one person doing it? It could be. Because there's a lot of people that paint, they have a group of people, you know? Mm -hmm. But cool. they're all painting the same exact style, which is crazy. Yeah, like, because they got kind of like all talk, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And That's Banksy thing, like, is one person. That would be crazy if it's 10 people. That would be five. But the thing that he did, though, was crazy. Remember when he was selling them uh, them, them uh, drawings in Central Park? Yeah. For for nothing, mm -hmm. he's giving them for a dollar. He was giving them yeah. away or for a, a dollar little, or something crazy. Nothing. And now they all up. And then everybody realized that that was real Banksy's. Yeah, he was just giving them. It was actually Banksy giving them. Yeah, it. for sure. That's crazy. That's fine. Yeah, imagine you just started going around in the disguise, <laughs> in different places. Just so go to disguise on. Yeah, and then just start going and just start. They they'll recognize it because this stuff, the eyeball. And the skulls is easily, every time I see that, I automatically think about you. Yeah. No matter who doing it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even if people try to copy it and stuff like that, I know exactly yeah. that is you. Because it's a specific way. And then them, them teeth. The teeth I always remember. That's why I want, I want, yeah. I tell you, I need more gear. Them crazy teeth. teeth and them pillows and stuff like that. It's oh, crazy. Yeah. yeah, them pillows is crazy, though. Yeah, these the come Yeah, these yeah, the come joints. On. Yeah, people ain't messing with you, man. You doing decor and all of that. You might as well design a couch or bed set. Oh, that's coming. Uh, that's already coming, man. Yeah, skateboard decks. For sure. That's yeah, already, that's I'm already ahead of time, man. I'm already on that. For sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What's your, um, so I also know that you uh, did some stuff on sneakers, too. And I, like, you, you've been doing stuff on sneakers. Well, I, like, I got some shoes. I remember you showed me the Doc Martens you had did. You was wearing them at one time. Oh, yeah. It was a custom pair. For me, I did them joints. Oh yeah, them is crazy. Knock these out. These so with crazy. the webs? Yeah. Yeah, this shit is stupid. Oh, spider on them, five, you know. See, spider wider. Feel me? Did the box too, you know, to go with the whole thing. Yeah, this is crazy. Y'all see these? Yeah, you only gonna see this. You only gonna see this on the underappreciated podcast. Always some rare. And both of them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you gotta show both of them because they don't oh, think. Yeah, you gotta see. They don't know. They yeah. both precise, you know. Precise and by hand, as y'all can see, this is all by hand. Can't make this shit up. And it's God's gift, man. My boy, my boy, not normal. And he ain't never wore these. He's just gonna put these in the case. Forever, I ain't gonna wear them. Yeah, these is fire. I'm definitely gonna have you make me. I need I definitely need some for me. Yeah, they're the ones. I got you, P. Yeah, I need some Air Forces and shit, cause I know you did a lot of Air Force ones. I seen you did some. You did some for you did some for Floyd. Oh yeah, I yeah, did some for Floyd. Floyd. I ain't. Yeah, exactly. I, I wish I was thinking because they were sitting they over had, there. They had it with the gloves, right? Yeah, with the gloves. Had the gloves on them with the Mayweather with the TMT on the side of the money dripping out. Yeah, he got a fight fun. coming up too. You might as well do some more shit for him. Yeah, put them together a fit or something. Yeah, because you putting everybody's fits together, man. Like, it's, it's fire, bro. Like, this is this is definitely, like, an honor to be here, man, because, it, like, this is one of my favorite movies easily. Bishop, Juice. yeah, Juice is the yeah. shit. You know for what I'm sure. That's one of my favorite movies. I had to throw Pac on there. Yeah, and Bishop, his character just yeah, had niggas like, all. He was tweaking the whole time. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Yeah, he was just all. But there's a lot of niggas like from, that, though. Yeah, that's one of the Everybody had a little there's juice there. Yeah. like that. You feel me? And then so he, every hood he, got he a didn't juice really had the juice. He had the juice, but he was forcing the juice on. You know what I'm saying? Right. He didn't really have it like you that. You know that. That nigga, the, the DJ had it. Q yeah, had it. Q had the juice for sure. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to act like he was the one. And you and you definitely got the juice, man. You see the shit that you putting out on people, man. Mm, and then people don't get to see that, like, as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the best advice you could give to a kid that's like, looks up to your stuff and see all the stuff you do and the people you get to work with every day? Like, what would be your best advice to, for them to get started and try to, like, one day be a D-Cozy? 
Mm, yeah, start it or like, I don't know, I just say st get something and just stick to it, whatever you're doing, even if it's art, if it's sweeping the floor, and like if you want to do it, do it the best of it, like sweep the floor the best you can, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, whatever you want to do in life, just stick to it, like, I stuck to it, and if I would have, like, it was times where I didn't believe my art was going to take me to certain places, I'm like, all right, this ain't going to make me no money, I got to do something else, right. you know what I mean? like, what I'm going to do as high school, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to have to go to college. Like, I was thinking a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So it's like, for me, to, my art to really take me different places, to be living in L.A., doing different stuff, like, I just say stick to whatever you want to do. Like, if you're drawing, like, stick to that drawing pad. Keep going. Yeah. Like, no, for real. you could really be doing it no, for a living. Like, yeah, like, for a <laughs> living. Even if you got a job, if you still want to draw, draw on the side. You mm -hmm. never know what that's going to take you. Like, don't just give up on stuff, like. A lot of people give on stuff, give up on stuff early, and they just got to be consistent. Yeah, though, too. yeah, that's just real key. Consistency. There's definitely times right. I want to give up. Like life hits you sometimes, and you're like, "Damn, I got to face reality." Like, right. I stayed with it and kept consistent. And that's what got me there. Watch where you gonna be at soon. It's already here. We it's 2022. You just did a whole tour. You been doing tour merch. You know what I'm saying? Not for sure. Running it up. Everybody gonna get an opportunity. I mean, one day people gonna be able to see. Get an opportunity to own one of your canvases, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't cheap. You nah. know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you get the merch until then. I got the merch on the website. Yeah, you get the merch. Yeah. Everybody get the, you know, we'll drop the, we gotta drop the website, you know, in the bottom of this. So y'all can see the website be right here. Y'all could go get your D cozy gear, you feel me? You feel me? And like, yeah, that's 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 where it's at, man. Yeah. I feel I feel like we just chilling, man. That's a, that's what I like doing. I like doing this type of shit when I get to come chill with my homies and then yeah. like bring, shine a light on them because hey, niggas don't be getting the credit and then they'll do everything. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm waiting for you to do some action figures and shit. Yeah, yeah. I want some action figures. It's crazy yeah. action, like like one of those um like the Mickey's. Yeah. Oh no, nah, you already know. I got some on the way. Yeah. I need I got that. shit coming though. Not for real. I got it. I got toys and all that coming. I already, it's already in process right now. They in the 3D molding process right now. And they're going to come out with the big vinyls, different sides, yeah. different sizes and stuff like that yeah, too? Yeah, for sure. You should definitely do a mega size one too, like yeah. the ones for the house. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have a big one. Yeah, them coming for sure. But yeah, man, just, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you taking the time with me, man. And like, you know, I've been going hard in different spaces and shit. You know me, I just be moving around and I'm, I'm going to tell Lean Away, Lean Away, to yeah. put you in the uh, shot, because you got to be in the shot. <laughs> Lean away if you need to put my boy in the shot, man. Yeah, let me. You know what I'm saying? Let him do up. some painting in there, man. He's real Chicago, real, from real deal Chicago to Hollywood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He going to paint some some vibes. You got to put my boy in the season finale, man. <laughs> for real, for real, man. Right. Just You know what I'm saying? Just from homie to homie, friend to friend, bro. On the behalf of the motherfucking underappreciated podcast, is even let you know you appreciate it, bro. Cause yeah. that's like we appreciate you, you to be in a, in this world and yeah. give us this vibes. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. art is so subjective and so like undermined. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's everything. It's just as important as music. Yeah, it's the core of everything. For it's real. everything that you see. The colors, the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? It's all connected. You feel me? So we're going to show y'all some more art, you know, we're going to run the art. And then I just want to appreciate, you know, let my boy Cozy, let me pull up to the crib and, you know, get the exclusive vibe, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and I appreciate you, bro. And we're going to do more. We're going to do more and more of this shit. You feel me? Let's go.